Hey everyone! For this week's how-to video, we'll be going into After Effects and learning how to create a magnifying glass effect. To make a magnifying glass, first we'll be going into the part that acts like the actual glass. You can add that effect by going up to the Effect menu, moving down to Distort under that, and picking Magnify in the menu that opens up. You can add this effect to any layer and make the content of said layer larger. You can also put it onto an adjustment layer, which will let you enlarge all the visible content in a comp. Whichever you do, with the Magnify added to a layer, you'll have a few things you can change up and most of them are exactly what they sound like. Starting at the very top, we have the Shape setting. This lets you pick whether our magnifier is squared or circular. Under that, you can change the center of the effect to move the magnifier. The first number will be its X position, or the left and right, and the second is its Y position, or how high or low in the comp it'll be. You can also click the little crosshair next to those numbers, and in your comp, wherever you click will be the new center. The target you place, you can click and drag to move as well. Next, we can change how much bigger we're making anything that falls under the magnifier with the magnification number. 100 will be the actual size of the content, and the higher you go, the bigger the content will be in the edges of your shape. Just as if you were to actually change the size, the more you magnify, the blurrier your content will be if you're using something like a photo under this. The link comes next, but there are two other things to go over quick before we get to that. These settings are the size and feather. Changing your size will change how large the actual magnifier is. Cranking the feather up, on the other hand, will make the edge of the magnifier blurrier, letting you blend it into your image. Those two things in mind, your link will let you control them with your magnification. Choosing to link your size to magnification, the magnifier will get bigger based on how magnified you're making the content. And if you change it to link size and feather to magnification, the size and edges will be controlled by the magnification and will get slightly blurrier the higher the magnification goes. Our next control will be the opacity. This lets us change how solid or transparent our magnifier is. With the number lower, you'll start to see the original content through the magnification. Then there are the scaling options. By default, this is set to standard, which keeps things sharp, but will get pixelated at higher values. If you want to keep the detail at larger sizes, you might want soft instead, which is made for bigger magnifications. And scatter will create noise as you get more magnified. Next up we have our blending modes. This is a menu that will let us change how the magnified content interacts with whatever's under it, the same as with any other program that has these. The one difference here is that you also have an option for the none blending mode. This will change it so only the content in your magnifier is visible, blocking everything else out like a mask. For our last setting, we have the resize layer toggle. With this turned on, you can magnify past the edges of your layer. With it off, your magnification will stop at those edges, which can warp things a little bit. And now that we've gone into all of that, let's make a magnifying glass animation. For the first step, we'll also need our handle. The quickest way to do this would be to place a photo of a magnifying glass over the glass adjustment layer as a PNG so there's no background. If your PNG has the actual glass in it, you can remove it by going up to the shape tool and picking the one that matches your glass, or pressing Q a few times. Then click and drag on your layer until the shape covers your glass. You can then go down and unroll mask 1 that was just made and click invert. The glass will now be gone. Also under those settings, you can drop the mask opacity a bit, which will make it so some of the mask content still shows through for a slight tint. I will note though that sometimes masks won't act like you think they would. If, as was the case with me here, your handle was fading out, you might need to duplicate your handle layer, invert the mask on that, and drop the opacity on that instead. Now we make the glass move with the handle. If you try changing the layer's position of the glass, the magnifier won't move. We'll need to work with the effect's center instead. 
so first we'll put the sender in the middle of our handle's hole. We'll also want to work with the scale of the handle, or the size of the magnifier, so they fit together. And lastly, we'll need to go down to the timeline and unroll both the glass and the handle. We can then go down and hold down Option or Alt and click on the stopwatch next to our center control. With the new controls that show up, click on the small white spiral to the right and drag the line that shows up over to our handle's position. Now, when we move the handle, the magnifying glass will go with it. Another side note, sometimes this may not look quite right. Sometimes the magnifier will pop off of the handle. If that is the case, unparent them, go back into your magnifying glass, and make sure that the anchor point is in the center of the hole. You can do this with the A key and moving the positions that way, or by using the pan behind tool by pressing Y and dragging the anchor point into the center with that. Afterward, then your expression should work the way you would expect. And that was how to make a magnifying glass in After Effects. I hope everyone's learned something and had fun doing it. If you have any questions, thoughts, or other feedback, you can let me know with a comment below or with a message to at et underscore studios on Twitter. You can also like this video and share it around. I'd appreciate the help getting the word out. And I'm planning to be back here every Friday, so be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Have a great day, everyone.